What's up? Welcome to Love Cooks. You have found your way over to the channel that's all about making alternative eating easier for you. And today we have a very special recipe because it's very special season. It's Christmas time. I adore Christmas. And in honor of Christmas and all the holiday baked treats, we are going to be making a lower sugar, gluten free, dairy free cinnamon roll. That's right. It's going to be amazing. Let's get this recipe started. All right, y'all, to start this recipe off, we are going to make our cinnamon roll filling first. And let me tell you why. This is going to make your life a whole lot simpler when you go to mix in the filling with the dough. So we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees, get that nice and hot, and then we're going to begin with our filling. We're going to start things off with a fourth a cup of packed dark brown sugar. To that, we are going to add two tablespoons of stevia. I love blending stevia with other sugars. It cuts down the total overall sugar content, and it also adds a really yummy kind of slightly sweet flavor. Flavor, which I really enjoy. We're gonna add two tablespoons of cinnamon, one tablespoon of melted coconut oil, and a fourth teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna whisk all that together. Now, as you can see, hello. Uh, when I mix this, it did not uh, fill into the bowl. It whoop, overflowed. <laughs> Christmas miracle. Get that all nice and combined. We're gonna fly that out. And now we are going to make our yummy bread dough recipe. Today's recipe, we are using Simple Mills gluten-free almond flour bread mix. I adore Simple Mills. I love their crackers. I love their pancake mix. And I especially love this bread mix. We are going to start things off making the bread roll dough, the dinner roll recipe right on the back of the box. We add a couple special things to it. So we're going to start with two eggs. We're going to add in two tablespoons of coconut oil. Instead of the olive oil in the box, we use coconut oil. I also added in a half a cup of filtered water, a fourth a cup of apple cider vinegar. So we're going to mix all those wet ingredients together. Use a whisk, get them really good and combined, and then we're going to add in our bread mix. So we are using the Simple Mills almond flour gluten-free bread mix. It's so delicious. We're going to pour that on top, and then because we're doing a sweet roll, we're going to add in a half teaspoon of stevia, and then we're going to whisk all that to get it together, get it nice and combined, looking so tasty, and then once it's all mixed up, we are going to add in our dark brown sugar cinnamon mixture. Awesome, stir it in. We're gonna fold it in lightly. You don't wanna over mix here because I like kind of seeing the little ribbons of cinnamon like they're swimming along a dough river. Just like you might see in a normal cinnamon roll, you're gonna have little swirls swirling in and out. So tasty so that when you get that bite, get a little hit of cinnamon every time. Love it. Great, so now that that's folded in, we're gonna fly that out and then we're gonna pour in our batter. So I used a large two tablespoon scoop and just scooped it up and plopped it in there. And it, you're aiming for each of the muffin tin um, bits, no, bits, holes, spaces, yes, uh, to be about halfway full. So I just kind of plopped about two tablespoons in each one and then added a little bit so they looked even. Some of them got little swirlies on top. Looks like somebody's little hairdo. Love it. Perfect. So once that's all filled up, we're gonna put that right in the oven, 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. Gorgeous. And while those are baking, we are going to make our lower sugar glaze. Starting over. Oh my word, my brain. Okay. <laughs> you could make the hybrid frosting. Not gonna be as tasty. Okay. And then we're gonna add two table. Mm. Nope. Dad gum it wrong one. Got this. Okay. We are gonna start out with a fourth a cup. Is that right? Yes, okay. Got it right now. We're gonna start the frosting and the glaze out with a fourth a cup of confectioner sugar, powdered sugar. We're gonna add one teaspoon of stevia and we are going to add one tablespoon of coconut milk, unsweetened coconut milk here, and then a half teaspoon of rum extract. Secret tip here, rum extract actually tastes to me like eggnog. I don't know why. When you mix it in with the frosting, it's kind of got that holiday rum deliciousness feel, which I love. Um, so yeah, so add the rum extract. We're gonna whisk all that together. I used a fork here. A whisk probably would have been a lot faster because you wanna whisk it all until it all gets nice and dissolved and clear and not lumpy. So keep on going, keep on using your arm muscles. That's looking perfect. It looks clear, it looks amazing. And we're gonna fly that out. 
Okay guys, so we've got the rolls in the oven. We've got the glaze made. We're ready to have a party. Invite your friends over. Say, hey, you gluten-free? You vegan? Come have a treat. So we're gonna take those cinnamon rolls out of the oven once they're done. And now, the beautiful part, we're gonna put the glaze on top. <laughs> I love putting glaze on things or frosting. It just makes my heart so happy. I don't know why, it's just the best. <laughs> so we're gonna glaze each one of those individual um, cinnamon rolls. Just, you know, drizzle it on there. Be generous, it's Christmas, it's the holidays, have fun. And you're gonna drizzle on top of all of those. All that yummy glaze is gonna seep into the nooks and crannies of the warm rolls. Mm. So now that we've got the glaze all in the nooks and crannies, delicious. We're gonna let that cool for about five minutes. Now, you wanna make sure you don't let it cool for 40 minutes, cause that has a tendency to stick in there like cement on a cold day. You don't wanna be stuck. You wanna hit, let those babies be free. So I used a little butter knife to just kinda cut them out gently like doo -doo, get them out of the little muffin tins, put them on a cooling rack to cool. You guys, you just plate them up. You just put them on a pretty pink plate, a holiday plate, whatever fits your vibe or your brand or however you like to serve things, do it. Pile them on up and then, oh y'all, I just had to show you. I had to open one up and show you that amazing, delicious, warm gooeyness on the inside. I let these be a little bit doughy in the center, which I adore. I love kind of like when you get to the center of a cinnamon roll, it's like all doughy and soft love. So I left that texture there, but just enjoy. Maybe drizzle some extra glaze on top. Dip them in a cup of hot chocolate. Dip them in some almond milk. Whatever floats your boat, I love it. You guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you go out and make these delicious, vegan, gluten-free, lower sugar cinnamon rolls with Simple Mills bread mix. It's so awesome. And if you like this video, click subscribe below. I'd love to have you as a part of the Love Cooks community. It'd be a Christmas treat to me. And hey, I have all my affiliate links down below too to all the products I use in these videos. If you're interested in that, check out below. I just hope you have the merriest Christmas. I hope your December is full of wonder and joy and fabulous treats from my kitchen to yours. Mwah. Much love.